driven six miles to Chicago. We got a full tank of gas, half a pack of cigarettes. It's dark, and we're wearing sunglasses. Hit it. The escape pod. It's season three. Ah! We're back. We are back. It was like three weeks. I can't believe it. It yeah. sucked. It felt like three weeks. See, not seeing you guys. It was like. It's like always not seeing you guys. <laughs> Pretty Great. much. Great. <laughs> You guys are just a blip on our statistics. I like it that now that uh, we've known each other for so long, I only need to see you for one hour per week. And that's too much. That's so much. So far, annoying. Um, so, uh, I'm uh, Timmy Taco. I'm Dennis. Jezebot. Back mm. for season three. With now, a gonna, we have to address our, uh, our cliffhanger. Yes. In last season, so I'm going to hit this. What year is this? Who's the president? Who is it? Uh, Trump. Uh, really? Uh, Holy of their president. shit. Uh, who's our president? Let's, who's let's, our... let's not go to America. It is such a silly place. Yeah. <laughs> let's not go there. You'll die. Who's our president? Who's the president? What year is this? What year is this? Who's the president? <laughs> uh, oh, and also a new intro. Um, uh, yeah, new intro. Oh, well, updated intro. Updated. It's just pretty much the same Remix. Intro, just it's just re-hit. It's fresh. It's fresh. It's yeah, just I wouldn't we, let it go, just would we'd, I? Uh, we just thought we'd get it, give it a good scrape Not out. way more me. I, I really pushed you like to your limits. On, I'm, pre- like, you I'm really still pretty didn't... keen to push pretty hard for a, a little bit of um, uh, DJ mixology, really, to come in there hard. Oh, yeah, well, okay. Well, it probably is by this stage, so that's kind of irrelevant. Okay, scratch that. <laughs> <laughs> literally, <laughs> literally. I see what you did there. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Uh, so uh, today on the show, we're going to make Stephanos. Stephanos. Uh, so Stephanos. Stephanos. We actually, I actually managed to get my act together and actually organize information that we might need to say to people. Mm. Are we? Sa- are we? Are slow, we doing Stephanos? Slow, slow news day. Yeah. <laughs> are we doing Fefanus at the start? Like I know last well, season. Well, it, it, it may appear it, just toyed. wherever it appears. If you hear the music, you know it's the Fefanus. That's right. Hey, look, if the Fefanus is fun enough, every everyone okay. wants okay. wants yeah, we'll more. Just put that on the fun uh, put that on the list. Mm-hmm. Um, the um, website still exists. Are we rusty? A little, I think so. Possibly three weeks off. <laughs> well, I'll just take off my pants. <laughs> oh, now that feels normal. Mm. Um, so the uh, I guess it's just re- really the mm. Facebook. If you really want to, if you really want to contact us, you really must go. Yeah. To the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel. Daniel. Did that microphone hit you in the mouth. Ah, uh, yes. He's I'll trying to you, bash. I got your sandbag, love. Bash um, my teeth out by. What well, are you? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Facebook. If you want to actually hit us up, because the. Um, Twitter thing. Just can't get on Twitter. Forget the fucking Twitter. Yeah. You know? Do you have a, you don't have a Twitter account, do you? I do have a Twitter account cuz you, oh, you fucking do, because you need to get a were, to were, fucking come in on it. Yeah, you were you were backstabbing me live on air <laughs> and I had to get on air or get on Twitter and tell you guys that I was in fact listening to you mm. and I mm. wanted to mm. Punch you both. In the never saw that face. message. I never saw uh, it because we we don't know how don't to know how to look at uh, anything. So forget so, about Twitter. So Facebook's good, and 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 the for now, Instagram. Or oh, I've been updating that. Instagram's so great. Mm. So there'll be mm. photos up. We'll probably put a photo of Instagram's tonight. better because it's just um, so much. It's a so snapshot. Much hashtag here. Yeah, well, yeah. well, that's good. And I'm looking Visually. at the shelf full of uh, snow globes for this season. Ooh. Mm. Fresh snow globes to wow. never be sent out to a winner. Yep. So yep. if you don't want one, who so, is winner so, so move over, Star Wars characters, because here comes the snow globe collection. <laughs> yeah. Crazy obsession. <laughs> you know, it would probably, probably end up being worth more. Snow globes? Yeah, why not? Yeah. yeah. The, world's, so. the world's uh, topsy-turvy. Maybe that's going to be the only water in the future. Mm. We'll all be fighting for snow globes. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Drain them mm. out like Pearson. Well, Trump seems to be the first step along the line of um, idiocracy, and as we all know from that great and influential movie, um, the crops fail yep. because they're watered with Gatorade. Gatorade, but that's right. It's got electrolytes. <laughs> it's got electrolytes. It's what yeah. the plants crave. <laughs> <laughs> I think we are heading towards that world. Yeah, but you know, everybody's happy in that movie, aren't they? Uh, mm. Yeah, because they're 
like legally retarded. Retarded. Okay. Retarded. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Legally retarded. Season three, we can't we uh, we can't say that. We can say the word retarders. That's right, because it's, it's not the same. Yeah. Um so like this season we're thinking about um <laughs> offering up a bit of the uh podcast space to the listeners. Oh yeah. Here and there. I see. Uh providing that you pay us. Pay us. Um, so what we're, no. what we're thinking of doing some at some stage, and you might even hear a sponsor from us uh, today. We're mm. going to cut to an ad break for one of our sponsors later. Mm. Um, but um, oh, no, it'll go something along the lines of X amount of dollars mm. for X amount of spots uh, for your business to advertise on the podcast. Without Expose being- themselves. Yep. Without being douchey about it either, like not. No, no, no. Uh, well, there's, there's, there's two, there's a, two, it's a two tiered attack. You can go the, uh, the cheap option where we just, uh, just record it, and we just it put you. an ad in, and yeah. then, and then you get a pre-recorded ad, or we may even read out an ad, which we may write or do or perform. You mean? Who knows? Yeah. Well, we might endorse your product. I don't know. So the more expensive uh, <clears throat> version is the you- one to go for. <laughs> 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 yes, correct. Um, so that's coming up and we're probably going to put some information up on the Facebook and stuff but uh, if you do listen to this and you have a business have you got an example have you got an example of cost money mm. someone that's already uh, advertised on our podcast uh, there is a sponsor in the wow. works we've got uh, Alfonso's Relief is one of uh, uh, our sponsors Nick Walker Digital uh, um, Walker Multimedia uh, yeah. uh, what, uh, we want to keep uh, it local yeah keep it local, a, local. A, crazy, local. a crazy bunch of vapors We've got the vapes coming up, and uh, I mean that's that's. And, it, and it's to, they haven't paid for this spot yet, so I really can't okay. say. Uh, okay, it's to market local stuff. Well, yeah, we want to like, we want to just try it. It's it is that that that, but, but not, not that. that. But just this. realize that your product will be exposed to a global audience, of which we cannot reveal the numbers of that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the numbers are currently unavailable to us. Um, but it gives it a bit of that personal Just like my tax return. Um, there. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then we may even have some uh, new hosts this season. Hola. Been in, the, been in uh, talks with some people that are interested in coming in. Uh, pipe works. In the yeah. pipe works. We won't say who because they haven't confirmed and we don't want to over... And they're Excited not famous or uh, known <laughs> or B or C grade yes, celebrities. Yes, and yeah. <laughs> so basically, dudes off the street. Yeah, Could be, but, could be. but what do you need Hi to bows. be a B or C grade celebrity? All you really need is a successful application to fucking Big Brother or or a know, podcast, uh, yeah, yeah. The yeah, Survivor, true that, true that. Uh, or a um, what is it, uh, Australia, Australian Ninja. <laughs> shitty, uh, shitty podcast. Shitty, yeah. shitty bang bang. Yeah. That yeah. new show that's coming yeah. up. Yep. Mm. Shitty, shitty bang bang. How does that go? <laughs> <laughs> we haven't talked about German porn in ages. Well, geez, we haven't. Shitty, shitty <laughs> bang bang. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then yeah. uh, we've also got a couple of surprise segments <laughs> along the way. Uh, Dan Oz and I took a trip to uh, the Oakley Market. You really must go. You really must. And uh, we're going to play an audio clip from that a little later. Might be in this episode, might be in the next. We don't know. Let's right. see what we've got time for. So are you saying that season three is wackadoodle dandy? Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, it's uh, it's going to be a little bit cuckoo. Is it up is down, down is up? Cats and dogs living together, heading that uh, way. Not that, be. not that. No, not, nah. not not that one. Yeah, well, that one. Not that yeah. Bundy. Um. So yeah. Uh, for us. That's still in. That's out. No, the, that means out. Oh, the dinger, yeah, we're the, in. the dinger's back. The dinger's yeah, the back. Dinger. We like the dinger. The dinger. For season. Got to have the dinger. Yeah, the dinger. Otherwise, good. you get into trouble. Yeah, you might get pregnant, and you don't want that. Uh, <laughs> so very good. So that's look, the Pfeffernus. That is the Pfeffernus. We just said it. That's right. And um, so, do you remember mm. our childhood? I have. <laughs> <laughs> I have uh, vague recollections. Oh, do you remember what it was like before the internet? No. Yes. Vaguely. (laughs) Vaguely? Oh, I remember having a really good time playing outside Mm. and the sun. I remember playing outside, playing the PlayStation, uh, playing with yourself. Yeah, that's right. Mm. Um, Well, we used to watch videos a lot. Sure. And us in particular. Yes. Uh, yes. You got got your $2. $2 weekly, was it? Was that an overnight? Uh, overnight is 
two dollars weeklies of one. Fuck. You had access Ruben? to a pretty special um, uh, <laughs> video, s- video, video shop, s- video store. Unlike most others that came with like branding and shining lights and yeah, like posters flip, and stuff. Busters. Yeah. DJ's video was a two dollar. For a new and release. they never changed. Like when the never big, changed. when the big, when the big busters came in and, and busted up the whole VHS mm. scene and mm. uh, gave it a new uh, commercial uh, shine, yep. so to speak. Gave it a vape. Uh, they stayed. They stayed loyal to us. Yep. With the two dollar weeklies and the two dollar nights. And that, and that guy, that guy on the, at the corner shop also stayed loyal to us and let us buy uh, alcohol. Alcohol. Uh, may he rest in peace. Died uh, a month ago. Did he? Yeah, yeah he did. there you go. Peter. God, God rest his soul. Thanks for selling so, us alcohol. Yeah. God rest his yeah. alcohol. I'll get a ding on that, Tim. Oh, you got a ding on that? Mm. Oh, there you go. That's yeah. that's fair. Uh, Every time a, a ding plays an angel gets his alcoholic wink wait a minute no every time every time you hear the every time you hear the ding a 16 year old gets a uh, a strong bow pregnant yeah uh, <laughs> how many how many girls did you see um, vomit on um, Southern My, comfort oh. after Ooh. after visiting uh, our mate what's his name Peter Peter everyone has a <laughs> Southern comfort horror story I'm they sure. do don't they there's something in that yeah. stuff, but we digress. Yeah, we is, don't. is that that's a liqueur? Or is that a bourbon? It, what, I what think is it's that? a I think it's a bourbon that's so sickly sweet that it just makes you want to vomit. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, because you'd have so, you'd buy right. a hip mm. flask. Needs more sugar. Mm. Do you know what the problem is? It's uh, it's media and it's uh, <laughs> movies and whatnot. When we uh, were watching movies, um, when they get a drink, it's it's a uh, you know a on tab. the it's a like, tab. It's on. It's on the ice. It's like so they drink. They're sipping whiskey, malt whiskey, on the like, rocks. On the rocks. Thank you. And I think when you're seeing that, you when you're tr- trying to get pissed for the first time, and drink the, going, uh, the straighties. You, you, you drink the straighties. You, you have a straighties, yeah, but that's it. I wouldn't even do it now. All right. So two doors up from our. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. Two doors up from our Pete's uh, alcohol. Underage alcohol dispensary, store. <laughs> alcohol <laughs> dispensary, uh, DJ's video. Sure, and you, you um, really must go. Look, we used to go up there all the time, and our, that was a special treat getting the video back in the days. Yep. wasn't it? When you say well, when we walked down. It was good. It, was, it good. was walking distance enough from the house that we weren't really. And back in the old days, you were actually allowed to walk out of. By yourself without some As kind a, of parental. Right. Well, that was close uh, enough to do that. So we used to go. Yeah, but so was our... you could walk to Gels Park, and it was close enough because well, never they, they, we Gels were. Park. No, I'd catch a bus. Uh, no, but we there were... weren't there weren't killers on bike paths that wanted to molest hmm. little children. There were, true, but true, at true. that at that time, we were all carrying switchblades. Uh, I always <laughs> had, I always had a, I always, a knife. I always had my Uzi a, in my rock. bag. True, yeah. true. We had we had a fake um, Beretta. Do we? Do oh, you remember that thing that our bro had? That replica handgun? Uh, oh, yeah. We did too. That wasn't a replica. It, it was, was a, a real gun. And it had its uh, firing pin. With what was it, that? So, yeah. 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 Um, so. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I, I, think had, it was I even had. I think it was fine. I even, gun had, amnesty. I even had my spud gun confiscated by my parents because they thought, oh, it's too dangerous. You're going to take out He's an eye with that. He's going to shoot it up his ass one day. <laughs> we caught him in his room messing around with a spud gun in his ass. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Plugged him right up. Yeah. Um, so uh, we used to go around there, get the video. <laughs> years and years and years later, DJ's <laughs> video, all right, we're closing shop. Yeah. And it happened to fall around the exact same time that uh, mum and dad were, were trying a new business venture. They were gonna they built a houseboat in Ilden. I remember. Mm-hmm. You really must go. And um, they built the houseboat, and as a special treat for uh, as an enticer yes. to hire yeah. out the houseboat, we bought out a lot of the videos from DJ's video. So the videos that we grew up on. We ended up uh, owning. You got, end. you got very, your. Uh, anyway, what do you, got? you Yeah, got, no, you got your. You got okay, your video uh, from UHF. Ruthless you got your, people. Um, 
Gremlins. So, Gremlins. Gremlins. You've got. Sorry. We, we don't want to breach any copyright. Yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> like <laughs> Bueller's. Um, Ferris, you got your Ferris Bueller. You got your uh, Back to Futures. You Goonies. Got your, uh, yeah. You got your uh, Indiana Joneses. You got your original edit of Star Wars. You've got your original edit of Superman. Do you know what we're doing? You've got here? your Electric Blue videos. Ooh. Remember that? Remember that? What about Breakfast, a, Breakfast Club? Yeah. Breakfast Club. Some of those 16, pretty, 16 pretty, candles. Pretty in pink. Mm. Show us your pink bits, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> so the 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 videos ended up on the houseboat. Then, as it turned out, Lake Hilden dried up, Bugger. and all the boats went into the centre, following the water as it reduced. And I think <laughs> the houseboats crashed into each other. Maybe eighteen or nineteen of them. We in didn't know massive, eighteen or nineteen. Just massive, so you know, we weren't that privileged a family. This was a it was a massive failed venture. That uh, the houseboat crashed like a pile in like a, a the biggest vortex vortex of houseboat well, crashes. You, so you you've, you've ever been seen? have you been down to Lake Hilden? I haven't last... seen it when they pull out the plug and it just starts it going. It literally <laughs> does that. It literally does that when you when you stand in the at the shoreline mm-hmm. and then you, and you practically look up and you can see where the water used to be. And it's like holy yeah. shit, this is this is low. So are you saying literally there's a guy that pulls the plug, a plug out? <laughs> and then all... Yes, the guy that owns the uh, the houseboat thing. Mm. And actually, as a little side sidebar side side to that, yeah. so Lake Hilda was going down, the boats crashed together, and it looked like, <laughs> looked like this guy's business was going under. Yep. And uh, my brother, Steve, who was in charge of building the houseboat, mm-hmm. and, you know, going up there and back and forth because he was skiing and all that kind of stuff, so... He went up to uh, check on the water level and see what was happening with the boat. Maybe they'll do some repairs. Yeah. And on the road up, right, <laughs> on the road up, he, the other guy, the guy that owns the business, passed him at haste in his car full of his house contents. Okay. So Steve's like, hey, chased him down, stopped him. He's like, where are you going? Oh, I'm leaving, mate. That's in. I'm packing up, champ. He was just going to leave the houseboats there. Everybody's houseboats packed up his car. Yeah, I'm out of here. That's it. Uh, what about the houseboat star, Dick? Uh, you'll see when you get up there. I pulled the plug on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pulling the plug, mate. Oh, I pulled the plug. You know I'm leaving. Uh, so um, when all the cr- houseboats crashing together, do they transform into one massive awesome house? No, no, I think it's more like that scene from, I think it's um, Austin Powers when um, they've got that steamroller scene. Oh, yeah. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> it's exactly like that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, was, I was really hoping you were going to say it was like Human Centipede. And oh, no. <laughs> and and the house goes straight end to end. I will never get that vision out of my mind. Well, you've seen it now. I can't unsee it. You can't unsee that <laughs> no. movie. No. Did you try Human scrubbing sense. your eyeballs? I did. So, I did. look, the houseboat thing was at an end. And we all we had to do was sell, sell off the boat and all its contents, but we kept the videos. Yes. Good move. Yeah. So they ended up in a box, which ended up somewhere. Where did the box go? Into Timmy's crawl space. Oh. It ended up in there. And the other day I was in the roof, pulled the box crawl out. Crawl space. In my, in my Timmy's Tra- crawl space. Tra- like, trademark. Timmy's like, crawl space. Some, can spend, you, spend some time can you show me your scratching space? the walls. Okay. Keep it down in there. And then pull the, pull the box out. And it's like, it's like uh, it's like Back to the Future. It's like traveling back in time, mm. and looking at all the titles. You got your uh, <laughs> Back to the Future. <laughs> you got your <laughs> one in particular that I pulled out was the Blues Brothers. So oh, rush, yeah. rush, rush, rush. And I know you guys, I know you guys know this part because we've had a little bit of a chat about it. Mm. That um, well, you mean all the research I did about tonight's? Yeah, that 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 one. Yeah. Basically, basically, we had a we had an idea because there's, there's all these movies we didn't want to do. We didn't want to do season three. Podcast. You mean we wanted to switch it up a bit? Season three. Let's let's. We didn't want to do it about. We didn't want to do one of those movie podcasts. We we want to try and push the idea a little bit further. We we like segments from our last seasons. Mm. We wanted to try and push it a bit further. We didn't want to just do the same thing over and over and over again. So we kind of merged him like a yeah. like a giant houseboat robot, <laughs> like a if you will, house houseipede centipede <laughs> human houseipede uh, human centipede <laughs> house boat boat something. Right. We'll work that out. Boat-a-pede. And the the concept basically that that we sort of came up with yes. together, and this is yes. for, this is for the audience's sake here. 
Sure. Is take take the movie from the box. Mm-hmm. Like the movie. Watch the movie. Insert it in your VCR. Insert it into your slot. <laughs> VCR mm-hmm. slot. Mine's more of a Betamax, but... Tr- press play. Track it. Mm-hmm. Set the flashing clock if you can, if you dare. You mean... Mm-hmm. You mean uh, fiddle those little buttons? Fiddle Do you see what's it? Because track it's a <laughs> very the VHS was a very hands-on. It's a so knobby it looks like, kind of it looks like you're milking a cat. <laughs> I am. <laughs> yeah. So uh, there was, so Blues Brothers is a movie that we've watched. What do you reckon? Fifty thousand sixty billion times. times? Yeah. yeah. The the concept that we had. Oh yeah. Oh yes. The basic concept. Yes. Mm. Yes, Tim. Just to be, just to bring the listener up let's, to speed. Let's, let's. Well, we, we we had the we saw the video. If you, you're going to mm-hmm. give us a little bit of uh-huh. a synopsis mm-hmm. on the actual uh-huh. things. Mm-hmm. I haven't mm-hmm. watched it in a yeah. very long time. Very very long time. But I do remember. I do. We do remember scenes, and even when we were talking about it mm-hmm. earlier, um, the certain scenes called out. We said, "Well, why don't we do? Why don't we mm. do a show? Yes, where we pick a movie. Yes, out of the box." Uh-huh. That we like. <laughs> you got your uh no. um, and, don't do that again. No, I won't. And like for for me, for example, like I instantly thought of the car chase. I would say shit. What? Rollers. No. Yep. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So like I mean we're we're talking okay. we're talking about we're talking about movies that, that surely everybody has seen. Everyone's surely. seen if you haven't watched it, but it's you we're really not must. talking about the entire movie. Yeah, it's We're not so much ab- about the movie. It's no. about it's about the things that that called out to us and then resonated, and then, resonated and then in, Tim. in the idea of tying things mm. together. Mm. We do we do. Um, it's north, east, west, south. south. It's the newers. Yeah, and um, like we're we're picking stories out and stuff. And why don't we bring the topics sort of together and keep them aimed at something? So if we yeah. picked a movie mm. and then. What calls out to us in that, and then find stories where it's like life imitating art. Yes. So, I found today I found a bunch of stories on um, police chases in particular. You know, they you know mm. the scene in the Blues Brothers. Should we recap the t- sure? So, if you haven't seen many, Blues Brothers, how many the cars um, have they destroyed? Have you got that stats? Um, uh, yes, uh, in Blues Brothers, the original movie, in a record which was only broken later on in the year 2000. Was Blues Brothers 2000 released in 2000? Or we'll was get it to, like 1990? We'll get to Blues oh, we'll Brothers. Because that's your we'll snooze review. 103 we cars were destroyed in the 1980 film, and it was a long-standing record that many fans, including myself, thought never to be broken. Just don't do it, you mean? No, no. Along comes Blues Brothers 2000. Mm. And they destroyed 104 cars. Mm. Uh, one more. One they more. couldn't do many more. They just did one more. Well, 100 is still a, sort of a big number. Well, so Topics th- here. So I guess. I guess. So that's that's the premise. So 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 I guess tonight's episode is going to be stuff off the back of blues, off the back of blues. Bars. Are we doing Jezbot snooze review right let's now? Let's just say. Let's just say when it comes to influential movies from yes. our childhood, mm. we have a lot to talk about. We yes. do. So. Sit down, get comfortable, pour yourself a nice drink. Press pause, watch Blues Brothers. And then come back and listen to Jezbot's Snooze View 2.0. Over to you, Jez. Uh, let's, this is a good time to introduce our um, beautiful sponsors oh, well, let's, for let's this Let's cut week. to our sponsor. Yeah, yeah, okay. And now a word from our sponsors. Hello, love. G'day, Dale. How was the businessman's luncheon? Yeah, it was all good, but I ate too much spag bowl and swilled down too many pots. Now I'm as full as a boot. Have you tried Alfonso's Relief? Alfonso's Relief? Yeah, Alfonso's Relief. It'll flush you right out. Here, try some. Oh, thanks, Dale. I'll be right back. (laughs) How did you go, love? Feel like a new man, but I'm still hungry. What? Hungry for some lovin'. Come here. Oh, come on. Alfonso's Relief. When you need relief, from relief, any time you need relieving. Alfonso's Relief. And we're back from the little yes, break. Uh, that's thanks, our sponsors. Thanks, that's got it. Uh, 
Hey, how do you guys feel the uh, the new format um, podcast is going? So oh, we're getting there. Let's look, look. The <laughs> old, this <laughs> first episode is only about setting the premise for other episodes. I right? said we've got a lot to say, haven't we? I think we do. I think it's something that we could really grow to love, <laughs> and and we hope that all of you out there can too. We're just uh, we're just uh, blowing out the cobwebs, so to speak. Yep. Um. So. My the scene that I picked that yep. I liked, yep, sure, was the car chase. Cool, yeah. And so I started doing a little bit of research on on how uh, on on a little bit about the car chases and and whether that that's happened in real life. I wanted to know if there was multi car pile ups, mm. and I I did a little bit of um, research on the statistics of car chases. Mm. But did you have you got that there, Dan? I yeah, I'm yes, thinking I you do. might be able to read that out for me because oh, it's all okay. over there. Okay. Sure. Oh, by the way, guys, you don't have to keep wearing those fucking dicky hats. They're seriously still wearing you the hats. You said to um, wear hey, the hats. I'm, I'm channeling my <laughs> inner Joliet Jake. <laughs> uh, what do you got there? Oh, there it is. There it is. Yep. Okay. Stats. Stats. In a, uh, re- uh, a recent study, um, it turns out that in Dangerous Pursuits, 233 suspects and passengers have been chased in vehicles. Mm. 87 innocent bystanders have died. Oh, sorry. 233 suspects and passengers chased in vehicles have died. Oh. And three law enforcement <laughs> three law enforcement officers have also... So, out of all those statistics, right, it's the lowest number there is that the cops don't really ever crash. Mm-hmm. And um, what what tends to happen is the people fleeing it's because runs they've got over. cop sharks, cop motor, cop tires. <laughs> was built before catalytic converters, sort of run good on regular gas. Is it the new bluesmobile or what? Fix a cigarette lighter. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, fix um, a cigarette lighter. I, had I it. couldn't worry, I mate. couldn't find exactly mm. a big big car pileups. Yeah, but um, I did find some local stories. Good. Mm. Well, we want to keep it Melbourne. We love it local. Yeah. And um, as, you know, as you know, as you know, the um, the chase uh, brings the brings the two our two main characters through a shopping mall. Yes. Everybody remember that? They're love it. The shopping mall. Love the, yep. love the scene. And uh, there's a lot of things surrounding that, right? Heaps. So there's local. There's a little bit of local news. Mm. Heavily armed police and undercover officers. I've I've ble- I have. I believe to have stormed the Glen Shopping mm. Centre, which Ooh. is just, just down, down the road. road. <laughs> you really must go. During well, this is in September this year. What this has just happened? Um, and basically, the incident started when they the police chased the dude with the stolen car, and you know how that goes. Mm-hmm. This is in the middle of the day. Ends badly, Tim. Um, and then basically, he parked his car outside of the shopping centre, and then mm-hmm. ran in, and then tried to blend in. So he's done the whole. Uh, That's good. Ooh. That's good work. Yeah, I yeah, actually yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. That's it, good. Uh, the yeah. cops yeah. came in and everybody went. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> there's that dude uh, there's that just the, ran in. There's the weak point. Has anybody the, uh, seen yeah. anybody run in here from a car? Yeah, that yeah. guy. Yeah, that guy. Oh, you got me. Mm. They basically the cops instantly surrounded all the exits and yeah. stuff at, at the Glen. Yeah, because there was, it was no really way easy. out, and no one was allowed out. Mm. So and he they caught the dude. So the problem Instantly. is, problem is, right? He didn't pull a Die Hard or a Blues Brothers and just get in, like ram through a wall, uh, get get in a, get in an air it's, duct. It's a success. It's a success. It is an escape route. Well, while you're still on the on that subject, I mm. have a I have a a real life um, uh, version of the same thing. Yeah. Except I wasn't driving. Okay. But I, but I was on wheels. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> Here we go. I, oh wait a minute! It's a rollerblading story. It I, is. Uh, <laughs> it is. What's the worst part about rollerblading? Telling uh, your the, parents you're gay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but put that to one side. Yep. And um, mum, I uh, I did a um, a speedy streak through uh, Chadson Shopping Centre because I really drinking. I really wanted to experience that smooth marble. Oh, for sure, under my dude. nicely tuned up in, Roll- inline skates. Yeah, this, this guy, <laughs> this guy well, had. What sounds better, inline or roller, roller skates? skates? What I was saying for the listeners, roller blades sound yeah. better than roller skates. Yeah. Dan had chops. 
on the on the blades. He had chops. He was he was I, good. He was good. I thought, I thought so, was did you get busted? Well, I got chased. I got oh, yeah. chased by and? an army of security because yeah. we were in the fashion capital. This yeah. wasn't no Oakley Mall. <laughs> this, which I Surely also you were in the bargain which basement I, at that time. Yeah. Well, we started in the car park and we we're having a bit of fun and we went. <laughs> I'll like. bet you. I'll bet you twenty bucks. I can make it straight through the mire entrance. Down the corridor, past first food court, yep. and out the Kmart <laughs> entrance <laughs> without fair distance. without getting busted, uh, without getting caught. And there are security guards everywhere. You don't yeah. notice them when you're a innocent shopper, but when you've got an agenda like a <laughs> drive-through, <laughs> yeah, at drive-through high, blading at, yeah, hi, at yeah, high yeah. speed, uh, you notice them all. And um, yeah, took a few tight little turns to evade capture, but um, I got out clean. You did. You yeah, made it. Yep. So it does work. You can yep. exit yep. via the mall and then yeah, but get you, away you, chase. you need Please to chase. have skills. Unlike Dan, I was more of. I think your nickname for me was um, Mr. Horse. Uh, so it looked like a guy. Uh, I don't like recall a, that. But yeah, maybe. I remember it. I remember it. Okay. So, Mr. Horse. Yeah, because you know, um, Ren and Stimpy, and there was a character, Mr. Horse. No, sir. I don't oh, like it. Yeah. So imagine. Him on rollerblades. That's kind of how I was. <laughs> very lanky, very like a bit uneasy on the, on the blades. Mm-hmm. And um, I wasn't too shabby on the old blades. Mm. 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 They were cool for like at least five or six years. Yeah. That could have been the next skateboard. That could have been the next skateboard. And but then, then it, as sudden, it turned out, I think the point uh, is you need to ra- razor. Uh, Razor, Razor scooters. scooters turn out to be the next game. I think the point is if you're gonna sort do if you're gonna do a smash of. and grab uh, if you're under chatty, if you're under ten. Yeah. Yeah. You need to be good. Are there are there commercial like half pipe riding laser scooter dudes? There probably are. Oh there would be. But do you want and to then, watch them? And then oh, I, I was I watching know. I was watching the news uh T V last night and saw an ad for the new Razor sort of Segway kind of okay. platformy things. And they're the ones that blow up. Isn't it the ones that burst into flames? That's no, a Samsung. Eight hundred and fifty dollars. They have hoverboards. Oh yeah, the they blow up. It's not a hoverboard, mate. It's got the hover- wheels. The hover. Do the hoverboards? Uh, it wheels? is. That's what they're calling them. <sighs> okay, but they're not. The, they're eight hundred and fifty bucks. Tim, they're very lax. And they do. They do catch on fire. They're very lax on the hoverboard yeah. terminology. It's yeah. not a fucking hoverboard. Yeah. No. But I'll tell you some more stats about that. Um, about the mall. Um, it's only just been. Uh, demolished. Um, Did the, you see that in your the research? Mall in yeah, the Blues Brothers. Yeah, yeah I had yeah, actually heard that. that. Why, uh, don't we, why don't we hear? A... Keeps tr- grabbing my mic stand and trying to bash me. I do it's not. Great. It's hilarious. I do not. Um, the one of the more memorable scenes. Blah blah blah. And um, throughout the mad mad <laughs> cap chase deadpan stars Dan Aykroyd and John Belushi calmly point out the stores <laughs> like disco pants and haircuts. An unrecognizable. Oh look, Pier One Imports is open <laughs> early this year. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so basically, I think they they hired out. It was a, it was a shopping mall. Mm-hmm. Yes, and it had been um, like a one of the top um, shopping malls of that area for the time. And but it only lasted. What happened? The the crime rate went up in that area. And I think it, so. And yeah. it only lasted um, thirteen years, which is a. A massive failure. Mm. It was a twenty-five dollar, uh, twenty-five million dollar, not twenty-five dollar um, build, and yeah. it, and in seventies it just went to went seventies talk means two hundred million. Yeah, so, so they it's got they expensive. Got, That's right, Dan. So it was at a stage where it was still restorable, but then they filmed the Blues Brothers there, and they just fucking destroyed this giant. Yeah, right? I would so love to do that, and um, it just didn't. It just didn't pan out for the rebuild. So after that, they um, turned it into a school for a while. They they spent about uh, another um, you know, twenty five so like, million on what, trying to revamp it. it. And then and then a hurricane hit. <laughs> <laughs> how, con- of, how convenient! Yeah, and it also went to court. Uh, the the owners tried to uh, sue the Blues Brothers production really uh, for. For damages, but it got thrown out because it's like it was closed down. Mm. They hired that it was fucked. It was derelict. It was actually they, here we go. They, here we go. 
Blues um, Brothers act- production cast actually did the renovation to make it all look hunky dory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And mm. then smashed it. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So they completely. They must have put millions yeah. into that. Yeah. Um, but it was. You said. It, what did you say? Twenty five million. It was yeah. seventy six. Oh, the revamp. Yeah, which never went through. So they 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 just burnt seventy six million dollars. Oh, and, and, and it says here, Tim, after at least uh, one murder, a rape, arson, roof collapse, and a failed seventy six million dollar redevelopment attempt, the Chicago suburb had enough of its infamous landmark, or is it infamous? I don't know. <laughs> and then um, <laughs> and they tore it down. <clears throat> they tore it down in. Uh, you right, Tim? Yeah, they tore it down in twenty twelve. It's gone. Mm. Uh, so that's the, what the mall. Was, the mall was torn down in 2012 using four million in disaster relief funds given to the state of Illinois after Hurricane. Well, Illinois. you'd have to be you'd have to be you'd have to be sort of stupid to rebuild in a place like Kansas, like Dorothy in Wizard of Oz dates yeah. back to like the 1930s. So they should have. And there was yeah. a big fuck off hurricane. Yeah, but it and just picks your house up and puts it down somewhere else. It's yeah, it's easy. It's like a houseboat, Tim. Yeah. Yeah, it is it's like, like a good houseboat. Yeah. You really so, um, so the other thing that uh, caught my mind, caught my attention with mm. the, um, with the escaping through the uh, shopping mall technique. Yes, and they were doing a uh, uh, chase of a guy on a motorbike in in the Americas, mm-hmm. and um, you can't like you got the helicopter following him, right? So in the Blues Brothers, they didn't have any helicopters flying because I guess no. they weren't ah, doing that. Ah, you're right. No, but they did have Illinois Nazis that seemed to be really, really, really high up yeah. on a bridge. <laughs> they <when> fall. They... <laughs> I've always loved you. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's a big fall. <laughs> that was a really big fall. <laughs> <laughs> it, went, it went on literally for like 20 seconds. Just zap back to our local news. Um, Doncaster. Oh, Ooh. yes. You really and must go. These guys, uh, they did a. I think your wife might um, it manage. This is, a, this is an exact manager. Yeah. Uh, she what well, at in Doncaster at the Pines. Really? This is where it this happens? happened at the Pines. Yeah. I think it did. I because ha- I didn't have that bit of information. That's interesting. Um, thieves sped past cafes and clothing stores after. Hey, look, there's a, a Pier One Impos. There's a danger field open up here. <laughs> <laughs> there's a Toys uh, R Us. Yeah. After after driving their car inside a major shopping centre during the deconstructive ram raid, don't know what that's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah okay, yeah. really In wide Melbourne's streets. East, two men, two men driving a stolen to- a Toyota Land Cruiser, rammed the front entrance of the Pines and then drove drove through the complex. In the middle of the night, um, there wasn't people there, mm. but um, police said it was a planned uh, planned ram raid. So they were basically going to um, raid or ram one of those ATMs. ATMs, but like this, this is the thing, right? If you're gonna, if you're gonna, um, if you're gonna do a ram raid, you're gonna take an ATM. Don't they have the? Don't they have the um, the die explosive things in those now? Yeah, and no. GPS. That's more of a bank robbery. That's a, yeah, thing, that's a that's Jim, a yeah. bank bank banks bank and job. Cas- that's banks, a bank job. Banks and casinos. Yeah, bank is that job. because is that because like it would it would blow up and there'd be like three hundred fifty thousand dollars in there and they don't want to destroy that kind of currency? Um, I think by exploding ink on the currency, they may in fact be destroying breaking the crime, it. making a crime themselves. Well, just... yeah, it's like drawing um dicks on the queen. Um, but who hasn't? Bank, bank notes. So uh, what's what about your scene? What did you pick out of the? Uh, uh, well, Anything dude, I had. Uh, did, Daniels, did you have something else, Jeremy? Jeremy <laughs> no, something? I've got plenty of. Um, oh, okay, go my my thing was um, the first time I felt. And this is a. I, I've I've got two firsties. First time I saved up for anything was for a Blues Brothers hat, mm-hmm. uh, a black hat with the white rim. Yep. This is what you're wearing the now. You're wearing. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. And the second thing was the... Because I must have watched Blues Brothers when I was four or five, I want to say. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Born in 78. Mm-hmm. It came out when... Older, older Brothers. Older Brothers. Influential. All that kind of stuff. Uh, the first time I actually felt religious or I felt the soul or the, 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 the thumping of God's... What? 
<laughs> uh, was, that was, God. was the scene. Was I'm, the I'm scene, betting that wasn't God. Was the scene <laughs> of uh, James Brown. Um, and and one of my questions is: Would you go to church if every James Brown day? Was performing. Well, who's the minister? You didn't know it was James Brown. He, James Brown's dead. If James, James Brown, Brown, if he was alive, because it'd be the ghost of James Brown. Isn't that when you movement? Isn't that when you first no, 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 no. first felt no, the you're... soul of God when you heard James Brown singing the old landmark? Can you? Yeah. See the light. Um, I'm this gonna say this. Christ, I see the light. There's more to it than that. What? Well, this church had a kick-ass funk band. It yeah. had trampolines. Oh it yeah. Had, <laughs> <laughs> it had dudes. It had dudes um doing backflips down the aisle. Yeah, it's pretty sick. Uh, yeah. and God arrives. <laughs> well, he, yeah, does he actually comes I am going there yes, every day Yes, Jesus H. Christ I have seen the light <laughs> Oh, there it is Just one more. Just one more. Well, well, well. Oh, All right. Mama. Oh, Mama. Mama. Anyway. Mama. Anyway. Yeah, great. Wouldn't you go to church every day if it was like that? That's what's happening over there. There are. That's that's exactly what the services are yeah. like. Haven't the, the gospel? Well, I haven't the gospel, been to America. You're the gospel, really nice. The gospel, guy. the gospel church scene is huge, and uh, people, tourists flock there because it's so <laughs> awesome. What did you just call me? A tourist? <laughs> or a flock? flock. Uh, we had that. We had that. Um, that hip and happening. Um, our father, father who art in our heaven. father who art in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, be thy it's name. So white. Yeah, it it's is. the whitest thing. In, compa- in comparison, <laughs> yeah, but we it's the exact it. opposite yeah, of James. No, Brown. but when we were we were going to, we were going to church during the nineties grunge phase. So it gave us an an opportunity to shout rather yeah. than sing, and mm. Um, mm. and all boys together need to shout. Cele- celebrating the um, the Holy Eucharist. Um, Being filled with the uh, Holy <laughs> Spirit. <laughs> Christ. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but uh, actually, actually, while we're while we're on the subject of being um, filled with the Holy Spirit, <laughs> um, I've got uh, a little bit of a sidebar of my own. Uh, this one Great. is about um, crazy fucking ass nuns. Oh if, yeah, oh yeah. If you remember, well, that relates. Well, if you remember from from one of our more yeah. seminal movies, if not. The most seminal movie of my upbringing. Um, there is a fucking crazy ass nun standing at the top of the stairs, saying, "Get out and don't come back until, until you've, you've redeemed, redeemed yourselves." Yeah, that's where I fell asleep. <laughs> that's the that's the <laughs> really fifty five. Right. Yeah, yeah, so, um, I thought I'd take this opportunity uh, for a bit of a sidebar to tell you about some other. Fucking crazy ass nuns. Yeah, been. Cool. So, coming right at you with the top five <laughs> most badass <laughs> nuns of all oh, time. Yeah. At number five, mm. Sister Katerina de Rosa. Sounds hot. Katerina. Hitman. That is a kind of hot name, though. Hot. hot. Katerina. Yeah. Hitman Isn't it? in a habit. Mm-hmm. This chick was so badass <laughs> that she started out as a nun and then ended up killing people. She basically uh, is now referred to as America's first bulldog. <laughs> mm-hmm. Did she have underwear? No, she had none. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, number five, yeah. Coming in at number four. Was oh, that it? Coming she was just in. A bulldog. <laughs> aren't they all dogs? Who cares? I think so. Okay. Well, if you're if you're well, aren't up, we all? Oh, if you if, <laughs> look, I know yes, I am. Yes. Look. I know that if I was locked up in a big prison, high walled building mm-hmm. with a whole bunch of women, wait, I too, I'm getting hard. I yeah. too, I too would become a lesbian. <laughs> yeah, it'd be the best day of my <laughs> life. Yep. Yep. Uh, You've got tits. But so. anyway, 
Okay. Continue. Annie Patchen. Uh, she's she uh, was um, born in Tibet in 1933. Good start. Oh, yeah. Good start. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Good start. I feel like Tim's no, way more into judging than he you. should be. Anyway, this badass nope. nun uh, was supposed to be married off. Decided, uh-uh, not for me. So she fucking pissed off to Tibet became a Buddhist, uh became a Buddhist nun. So she uh she what what is it? Um when you d- born you, again? No, when you switch teams, when you're like in a baseball team and you get uh drafted. She she drafted herself she, to a different team. Yeah, sure. Okay. Sure, 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 well, so sure, so sure, sure, when sure. when you're yeah. when you are a nun, can I just yep. quickly ask yep. when you're a nun, is yep. it always Catholicism? And and do um, you do you have to have Greek. a mand- <laughs> do you have to have a mandatory Burning bush. <laughs> well, uh, I know I've got one. Is that well, mean, does that make me a nun? Is that my, inappropriate, uh, Jeremy? So <laughs> <dirty. laughs> I got so many. Uh, uh, coming in. Oh, three. Uh, yeah. No, she's diverted to. She oh, sorry, she sorry. she switched Buddhist, teams. She's the in the Cubs. One, yeah, she she she's in the Cubs. She basically the decided to um, fight those commie bastards oh, yeah, coming in from China. Um, it didn't work. She got locked up for yeah. like. 25 years. Oh, 25, oh, 25 years. years. Yeah, years, most of them on. most of them in solitary confinement with her uh wrists um you bound ima- in I was going to say can you imagine what irons. it was what it was like being a prisoner back in the diggities? Hey, can I just point out um this was pretty recently. Oh, yeah. Yeah, commies what? they don't mess around. Oh, yeah. So it's kind of new. Yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> I can't be I can't be too derogatory of the whole communist philosophy because um, still tender. Well, I'm married to a Chinese national, and they She's commie? well, they're 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 a little bit precious. Come, 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 But yep. you're also hedging your bets in a way, Dan. Is like maybe they will come up and um, take control. Like you never know. Well, I hope that Xi Jinping actually listens to our podcast. Yep. Because Me too. that would be awesome. Yep. Uh, who? Who? What? Did she die? Uh, it's a, it's a dude. She did. Uh, uh, but- good. Did. Next, she did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the nun, uh, not the president. The badass nun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the next badass nun, um, she was famous because she was the first chick in history to write about female sexuality. Oh, oh yeah. 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 She basically went, I have never done it, but what I, from what I've heard... <laughs> well, let, me, let me give you a short <laughs> extract, because uh, we're, like, yes. sh- we're yeah. like short extracts. Yeah, extract that. Well, um, that, that uh, relates directly, directly <laughs> to me, is a yeah. short extract. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. Go yeah. on, Dan. Um, the act... Summons forth the omission of the man's seed. Well, it's hot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Does that make you want to blow fucking chunks? Um, <laughs> makes, well, that's you saying that makes me want to <laughs> blow chunks. No, yep. no, no, <laughs> no, okay. no. Don't do that. Okay, anyway, she was pretty badass. That's badass. Coming in at number two. <laughs> oh, yep. Number we two have is... Sister, we're not quite sure how to pronounce it. Luke or Luce or... That's hot so Gabriel. far. Gabrielle. Better than Elvis. This chick knocked Elvis out of the charts. Right. All she right. actually knocked him out? In 1964, she walked up to him. She, she f- said, hey, Elvis, get over here. Yeah. You've just been nunned. Yeah, yeah. She gave, <laughs> <laughs> gave him an Irish kiss and he was out. What is Bang. an Irish kiss? It's oh, a headbutt head to the... Uh, Short, yeah, right, true, no doubt, yeah. no doubt, no doubt, no <laughs> doubt. Yeah. Yeah. So she's pretty awesome. She's she good. Ended up, I like her. I she like ended, her. She ended up another um, fucking um, chick jumping Char- the fence <laughs> and getting into muck. Char- she, she, and, and hit the charts. Yep. Hit, hit Elvis and hit no, the charts. No, no, she never hit the charts again. I thought you were going to say Chachi. <laughs> she got really into muff diving. Oh, yeah. And, oh, another oh one. Oh, my God. Uh, then in uh, 1982, <laughs> she released uh, a comeback song called Glory Be the Go- glory be to God for the golden pill, which was about the contraceptive contraceptive pill. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> shortly after, she also committed suicide by taking oh. 
Sleeping, sleeping really? sublets. Did she and... uh, take too many birth control pills? Too many birth control pills. Yep. Don't eat the yellow ones. Yep. Yep. Uh, she Take took too leave. many. Uh, little, yellow. Was that different? Little, little, it was different. called uh, Tricox again. Tri-co- and then yeah. tri- coming tri-cox in, <laughs> coming in, number one, the most badass nun in history. She better be badass. Christina the Astonishing. <laughs> Come on, tell me you don't love the that spectacular fucking name. Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> does he have? She? A, does he have a massive <laughs> schlong? <laughs> uh, yeah. Topical. Mm, topical. <laughs> Um, what did she do? At 21, she had a massive seizure and died. Oof. Oh, that's the end of her. Oh, great. So that's an orgasm, Tim. Oh, okay. Yeah, massive. Yeah. Halfway through seizure. the funeral. I'm about to have a massive seizure. Right I'm going to have a seizure right all over your face. I'll seizure right to I'll the end. I'll seizure all over you. Halfway <laughs> through the, the funeral, she jumped out of her coffin and flew. To the ceiling. Yeah, because that's how I so, make, can, make it happen. Yeah, and 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 just as a little uh, sidebar to um, <laughs> so to, a little sidebar, <laughs> no, a little no, sidebar. Oh, no, no, she just had a, a little just, just just a little bit of um, poetic license. She jumped out, and this is just for you, Tim. Mm-hmm. And she went, "I'm a ghost." <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm ghosting it. all I over it. your face. Yeah, and this badass chick uh, basically was really well respected because everyone thought, well, so she she was dead, but then now she's alive. So she rose from the dead. I like it. Yep, I like yep. this one. Yep, yep. So anyway, that's the abridged so version a- of my long. Okay. That's nuns, and that's in that's in the uh, that's in the uh, under yep. the guise of yep. the nun that's in the Blues Brothers. Go 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 go! <laughs> so there you have it, right? So that's a basic first run, mm. a, a stab at uh, the little things that that we picked out from the Blues Brothers in particular. Sure. Um, and another segment that we had planned was uh, the really must go. Yes. So you really on, must go on the weekend. Uh, Dan Oz and I, well, I tried call, called everybody. You slept in. I slept in. I uh, you slept through the phone call. Dan Oz lives a minute from Oakley Market. Maybe a minute and a half. And Oakley Market is well done. Dan. Oakley Market is the thing that uh, where I buy all my transformers from. I buy my where you guys first realised that you're going to do a podcast yeah, together. That's right. That's it right. was. So you, it was where we saw the Spider Man guy. Yep. yep. Uh, he'll go down in history as a pivotal point <laughs> in podcasting history. Correct. So, <laughs> yeah. So, so we were there. Yeah. We were there on the weekend, and yeah. we managed to um, have a recorder on us. So we did a round of the Oakley Market. We did. It was enjoyable, wasn't it? And why don't we? We'll cu- we'll cut to the tape because we recorded a bit of it, and I've edited it down to to a listenable level. Um, and then and then we'll just uh, we'll. we'll Basically, it's a new section. We want to do. We want to do. We're starting off with Oakley Market. You really, you really must, must go. go. And and let me just say, the sausage dudes are cockhead. <laughs> you want to say? Keep, uh, keep your ear out for the sausage guy. He's a real cunt. New new um new title for the. You really must go. Ready, ready. This is what. And you, you really, really must, must go. Go. Testing one, two, one, two, one, two. All right, we're on. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so uh, I'm here with Dan Oz. Uh, hi. For, is it our first rooming, um, rooming um, thing? Yeah. Are exper- people already ex- looking at us? Experiment. Do you think people are already looking at us? Um, I think the sausage guy's thrown us a couple of sideways looks so far. Uh, he's not impressed with us. All right, cool. I might just uh, take a look at these toys over here because I reckon that dude's a cunt. <laughs> Got that impression too. Yeah. What was this caper? Anyway, we're we're at the uh, Oakley Market, which has a uh, a long and glorious history. Long and glorious history of two th- two things. Yeah? Rain. Yes. And crappiness. And and jam donuts. Well, and and jam donuts. Yeah. And uh, well, I was just taking a little stroll around here earlier. Waiting okay. for Danos to get here, and uh, there's controversy afoot. Ooh, yeah. Tell me all about it. Well, we, you know the ever familiar um, food bar van that is yes. in the middle. Yes. He's because been pushed look, to the look edge. who's moved in. Okay. There's a big food truck, flame grill burger truck. Okay. That's moved in, so okay. it's moving in on the turf. 
Uh, but I, I see that he's actually got zero patronage because there's a certain um, uh, loyalty factor that's at play here, I think. I, think. I felt compelled to go up to, um, to Nana and say, how do you feel about, how do you feel about Flame Grill Burgers? And but, you, have you? No, she's right here. Well, so, let's, shall we? let's, let's ask her. Shall we? I think we should. <laughs> all right, all right, here she is. How you going? Good. How do you feel about the other truck turning up? Ah, uh, uh, yeah, I saw. Busted in on yeah, your tear, yeah. huh? Has uh, have, have more have people still kept coming to you, or have you seen uh, people going over uh, there? Maybe half and half. Half and half? Yeah, uh, they got different food, and some people love this. Oh, that's the life. Yeah, it's, uh, it's competition. The, it is competition. Mm. It's like uh, it's like when you open a um a, a hardware shop, and then across the road, Bunnings turns up. Yep. Yeah. And then there's a guy in the car park selling secretaries and spades. It was just for Rotary Club. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's not really I'll leave it to it. Good luck. <laughs> good luck. Sorry. Yeah, good Sorry. luck. No, you're fine. You're fine. No worries. Okay, good. See you later. Bye. So, yeah. Well, again, again with the turf war thing, a little while there, it was just uh, little nanas. Yep. Selling their yep. uh, crappy pot plants and yep. actually selling and, and wheat. And nothing, nothing was selling... sold in actual potting mix. It was all no, that, uh, that, 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 like, uh, bring, cl- bring home a weed, <laughs> yeah, like... buy, buy a $2 plant, get yeah. a bonus fucking disease in your yeah, garden. Yep, yep. That's, uh, that's yeah. exactly and, how um, it's out. Is this one of those uh, giant, me dolls? <laughs> giant sex dolls? <laughs> it's like, um, yeah, but there's got to be a law against that because it's like... Well, this is, this is the question that I have, right? Um, what's going Infant on science. through the minds of these people <laughs> when, <laughs> when uh, they, they're really trying to push some product here? Yes, they right? are. Aren't they? But like, well, we have, um, an but, but you're not gonna charges. you're not gonna buy a two foot fucking imitation about, Barbie doll with that clothes on. But there's there the, 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 the turf wars, you know, like you've got um, you got a tool guy over here, you've got a tool guy over there, you've yeah, got yeah. a plant guy over here, you got a plant guy over there. Yeah. Uh, you got the food trucks competing. Um, there was one of the ladies that did a... Uh, tools though, this looks like new, the, t- the new tool section. Yeah, but they're, know, the, they're not the, the guy with the 40 year old um, hammer and uh, sledgehammer over there. No, way. but they're the, they're the tools that you get home and then you realise that they're fucking the head. Last. No, the head of the axe falls off oh, the second okay. you use it. Okay. You know? I actually need a um, pair of secateurs. You don't, you don't need a massive machete? That's the place to go. That's a big machete right there. That is right a there. great machete. I'm feeling a little intimidated by that. Oh, really? Okay, I'm, I'm well noted. Next time um, I want to get Danos to do something, machete is the answer to that. Uh, oh, yeah, nice, nice hooker for, uh, no, not the rootable variety, the smokable variety. That's right, we can see the uh, somebody's selling a bowl, is that right? Yep, yep. And That's what you call those things, isn't it? And this is hooker, a, this hooker is a super, super sized mully. <laughs> <laughs> We've got uh, a machine that chops up, uh, and, chops up big plants. And, and a waterproof computer. Yep, that computer's out in the rain. <laughs> yep. So yeah, you're, so you're getting the multicultural uh, dinner uh, food experience out. Yeah, that's great. Well, that's uh, uh, when was the last time you dined on Afghani or Iranian or some kind of Persian cuisine? Um, I think my wife listens to the podcast, so. Uh, I don't, want to, I don't want to tell my escapades of dining out on okay. an uh, okay. Afghani. Okay, okay. But uh, I haven't actually tried Afghani food. I'm more of a Chinese yeah, well, kind of guy. But we know I... Uh, Dabble in I'm, the Chinese? I'm a, I'm a big lover of all things Chinese. You dine out on Chinese? I do, regularly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not as regularly as I would hope. I make, um, I make regular... Um, <laughs> Mentions of my desires to dine out on Chinese. Oh, here, here, ah, here we go. Hello, family. Hello. Okay, so we've run into the other guys. Oh, oh yeah. What's that, Mace? What a score. What is that? Uh, Who is he? Uh, Buzz Lightyear. So yeah. Buzz Lightyear. Right, there you go. Get out of your room. <laughs> uh, that particular toy is on his list. Uh-huh. He wanted, a, he wanted a Buzz Life here with the wings to pop out. Okay, cool. Meanwhile, I want Transformers and Star Wars toys. Great. Can we open the Star Wars toys? Get out of my room. 
I really appreciate it when a, um, a vegetable vendor mm -hmm. cut open a vegetable to show you the quality that's inside. It's a real, it's a real mark of quality. It is a mark of quality because, um, like this guy up here, I think um, if he fucking cut open an avocado, rats would fucking run yeah. out. Well, I get the I get the feeling that um, all avocados at Coles are bashed um, prior to being stacked. Uh, sta oh yeah, 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 to make them uh, ripe as mm. this guy. Well, my modus operandi for Oakley Market is to find transformers, mm. right? Because I don't this pay any more. This than... is a good display. <laughs> this one's covered in <laughs> towels, and I <laughs> think you can't see. Oh. Here we go. What's this? Go. Oh god, that's see, that's that transformer's fucking huge. Version. No, that's huge. That's too big. No, not no such thing. Mm, that's what she said. Been to oh. toy shops and stuff. Don't get into the Christmas spirit. <laughs> I was in the toy shop yesterday, getting harassed to fork out forty bucks for a princess Barbie. Oh, you see, you don't need to do that. I didn't. But I, made it. <laughs> I let her carry it around going, oh, I want this one, Daddy, I want this one. Uh -huh, and uh -huh. then when we got to the um, we got to the checkout, she put it on the bench to pay for it, and I said, we're not taking that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, well, they tried it. They campaigned to save the open market a while back. And what they really should have done is save them from themselves. Oh, no. I no, think because they campaigned, and like you think there is a place for it. This car park, nowhere else. Yep. But um, you would have thought that that would have motivated everybody to dig out different things from their garage to sell and make it a bit more interesting. And it's pretty, it stayed the same. It never changed. In fact, it, it became more the same. Well, we were we discussed this once before when we um, spoke about the um, renovation of the Paran market, which uh -huh. apparently you haven't been to. But right. um, once upon a time, it had ambiance, you know, like a, like, a, uh, like a Queen Vic market, you know, a bit rickety, yeah. but oozes character. Um, yeah. Now it's clean and modern and all of the shops look like shops and it's like, yeah, well, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah, a yeah, step too far, a step too far. Mm. So well, um, having something that's going to eternally be shit, maybe there's a place <laughs> for it. <laughs> Like our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> the back of the sausage guy. Yeah. He's still looking like a silly prick. Yeah. yeah. Can't, can't imagine. <laughs> he looked right at me when I said <laughs> that. <laughs> oh, well, I wanted to say it loud enough for the recording to get it. Yeah. Um, but um, I think I think the problem was he heard us the first time. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. Um, people don't like it when you call on the cunt to their face. <laughs> So, um, so look, that's that's the rundown of, of today. I'm sure, I'm sure it'll it'll get better in summer. Um, I was hoping that mothers would be like trying to sell all their stuff that their kids have got, you know? Yeah. In in, in preparation for Christmas, the clear out, the yep, yep. intake. But I uh, how the skins on that kick drum are going to hold up after a, a good um, a nice wash. Yeah, guitars, camera, uh, cameras, and computers do really well in the rain. It is the do, future. As do um, um, clothes. Clothes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is uh, this is Oakley Market. Uh, you really must go. Uh, it's been fun. I'm actually going down to Mornington. Are you? Right Just now. to go to the market. There is a market there. We're going to go to the market. So I might do a. Um, I might do another comparison. Some kind of comparison. Okay. Um, but uh, yeah, look, we'll see what happens with that food truck. Where that does affect yeah. business, I might I might follow that up in the future and, and, and see if that lady's uh, been hit hit hard. Yeah, yeah. Because this is her livelihood. If she's saying fifty percent of her business is gone, well, in in that's... many respects, she's like your your original uh, food truck. You know, don't um, worry in about the, the in the sense that, that it's like it's like, like in the, the sense that thing all the these paint's days. coming off the side and um, it looks like it's actually. Quote, an original. Yep, like a hundred <laughs> years old. Yeah. <laughs> Not much work's gone into general upkeep, but no. uh, the hot dogs are consistent and the jam do uh, donuts are always um, diuretic. Well, hot enough to burn your tongue when you bite into them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bastards. She does put yeah. the wrong sugar on the um, 
think I just never had the heart to just to destroy a business like that. Okay. All right. So this is the Oakley Market. I'm uh, Timmy Taco. I'm Danos. And uh, you really must go. Yes, you must. So Oakley, Oakley has opened up a whole new realm of for con- us of concept. Of well, idea. I think I think we could explore this in greater detail in in a wide variety of spaces. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. In I a wide can. variety of how would you do that times. I, I reckon I, we can just we could we could do it two ways. We could go there and just go around and observe, or we could set up a podcast in a in an environment with we, with microphones. Well, 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 and that's bring a good idea. In. I'm voting. Just, I'm voting. That I'm one, voting. We that sit, one. Yeah, I'm voting. We we walk around and observe, right. and then sit down right, let's go and, and, let's go and basically pot it out. Let's go and do that right, right now. You two, right now. All right, all right, quick, everyone. Let's go. <laughs> the podcast. Let's go. Right. So, uh, look, that's that's the show right there. Uh, the show proper. Um, it's been great to be with you. It has been great. Uh, I'm Timmy Taco. I love Daniel. <laughs> I'm Danos. And who are you? Uh, yeah. Great. He's a fucking small sport, isn't he? Yeah. Uh, there we go. Me, 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 me. Thank you for pressing the self-destruct button. Will self destruct in exactly two minutes and forty five seconds. Thank you.